Hey guys, so it's uh, not really that often that I cover PvE events in this game because obviously most of my audience I think is more catered towards PvP, but I think that this event specifically um, is pretty positive for the game, has a lot of decent implications now and also for the future of the game moving forward, so I figured this actually was worth covering for once. Uh, but this is the new event, Prevent World Domination. I actually really hope they do more of these moving forward. And the reason is uh, because you can get free Z power. I'll just skip right to the end. You can get free Z power for the new LF Beast Gohan from this event. There is a catch. We'll get to that in a second. But I just want to go through the explanation here. And then we'll go through the event itself and see how tough it is and stuff like that. All right. So fight against the dreaded Android Menace. Clear the battles with specific characters to get Z power for Beast Gohan and Power Awakening Piccolo. Prevent World Domination is an eight stage battle event. Get Chrono Crystals and Z power by challenging all of the stages. Get the required characters and challenge each stage. So that is the catch there. Obviously you need to have the characters to be able to challenge the event. And obviously one of the characters you need is Beast Gohan. So basically in order to get the extra Z power, in order to get the 600 Z power for LF, uh, LF Red Gohan, in order to get the Z power for the Piccolo here, in order to get the Z power for Beast Gohan here, you need to already have the characters. Um, so I guess people probably, you know, might not see that as a positive, but I mean, it, it's just free Z power if you manage to pull the, the characters, right? So it's just, you know, it's free stuff. So um, let's see here. So the first one is Yardrak Oku, which is easy. It's just, you know, Legends Road. Second one is LF Red Gohan. He's been in the game for three years or something like that. He's, no, maybe not. Yeah, he's been in the game for about three and a half years now. So at this point, you'll you're probably have him most likely unless you're a newer player. And uh, he's, he's on the current uh, Beast Gohan banner. Piccolo obviously just came out. The Power Awakened Piccolo and then obviously Beast Gohan as well just came out. So, um, you know, obviously most people probably aren't going to have these two new characters. But the thing with this event is this is a permanent event. Does it say where the timing is? So it, is it doesn't actually mention the, the uh, duration of the event, but this is a permanent event. This is permanently available. So even if you don't have the characters now, as soon as you get them later on, you can go ahead and challenge this event. So this event will always be up, um, you know, and you, you'll be able to grab the Z power here once you're once you're able to obtain these units. So clear the stages and limit break the required characters. Get a total of 200 Chrono Crystals from the Android Saga stages. First time clear reward as well as a total of 600 Z power for each required character. Limit break the characters you obtain to make them even more powerful. And then it looks like there's a title as well. Get your hands on a special new title for missions. Um, so that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and just take a look here. So I think the way this works is you're only allowed to bring the one character into each stage. So if we click on this event right here, the first stage here with the Yardrak Goku, what I've done for each of these characters is I've made them a specific designated team to give them the most possible buffs offensively. I, I focus on offense for all these units. So for Yardrak Goku, for example, this is a team that I've built. He's getting triple Zenkai buffed <laughs> from uh, the Red Gohan, the uh, uh, Kakarot Goku, and then the Red Goku at the end. He's getting 50% to uh, strike attack and defense from the purple armor Goku, and then 50% strike attack and defense from the red uh, 13 at the end. So tons and tons and tons of strike attack, um, pumping all of the Z abilities into him through the fact that he's on the uh, leader slot as well. So it doesn't even need to be, doesn't even need to be like actually getting all these buffs. So, okay, let's go ahead and jump. It looks like they're giving us a yellow trunks as a friend character, okay. So you aren't just going to be, uh, I guess, relegated to using your own character. Um, so uh, since they basically, oh, I, I, let me just turn off three times speed here. Since they removed the charge step, or not charge step, the uh, float step mechanic from the game, it's obviously become a lot more burdensome to do PvE in general, but it doesn't look too bad here. Obviously, this is only the first stage, right? Okay, the set, yeah, nice. The second I move up here. Um, actually, I don't even remember the last time I used this character, but... Alright, so you brought out uh, tw Android 20. Let's go into Trunks. Just do this. Alright, Trunks definitely looks like he's going to be doing more damage to Dr. Jiro here. Let's go ahead and do this. Got our Rush ready. Are there missions? There is. There are missions, actually. Clear within 70 counts. So we can go ahead and use a Rush, because there's no mission against using that. 
but I feel like we don't even need to use one here. Let's just get all these in here. Here's 19. Should be able to just tap him because of the bleed here. And now we can go into you. What does this even do? Ah, let's just rush him, whatever. Okay, now we'll, we'll pump up the, the speed just to get through this rush faster. <laughs> Um, now, obviously, the the three times speed is only available to people who have the Legends Pass. So if you don't have that, that's why. Just I, I get a lot of questions about that as well. All right, so that is the first stage done with Yardrak Goku. Um, and looks like there's going to be another. There's the hundred crystals. Looks like there's a stage that gets unlocked once you clear this first one. Let's see what that's about. All right, so we clear the first stage. This unlocks the EX battle. What is this? This is just the same thing. Oh, it's against 17 and 18. Deploy the same unit. Looks like it's the same thing. Crystal rewards here. So I guess what will happen before I even do this, I guess what will happen is like, for example, this is going to give what? 300 Z power for uh, Gohan? 200. Okay, so this is probably going to give 200. And then what will happen is you'll probably go do this one. This will give 400. Um, probably a jump in difficulty, but whatever. All right, let's go ahead and do this. And okay, they give us the trunks again. That's not bad. Uh, after this, we will have to use the Red Gohan, and then after that, we'll have to use um, Power Awaken Piccolo and then Beast Gohan. I assume that if you pulled Beast Gohan, you probably aren't going to have much trouble with this, just because... Let me turn off this ottoman. <laughs> just because Beast Gohan is just so absurd, right? It's been a while since I've used the Archer Goku. <laughs> Surprised they actually never brought back this uh, instant transmission mechanic. Uh, obviously, it's, it's insanely good. But it's, it's interesting. I, I don't know. I feel like they could have done more with it on other units. Let's just go ahead and press this here. Is Trunks doing less damage than Goku was? No. Alright, I need a Dragon Ball just to get my rush ready, and we'll just rush him out of the match here. Nothing. Okay. Thanks. That's great. This guy doesn't get can switch in yet. No way. Okay. <laughs> um. Really? Oh god. All right. Well, at least we have our rush. Are you serious? <laughs> come, come on, dude. Dude. Okay. Yeah. Nice. What is this? Hercule? Hello. I'm. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> what is this? Hercule PVP. Uh. Okay. I don't think we can kill her. Yeah, she PV'd that, of course. I mean, this is just the annoying part of fighting bots, right? Let's rush him with Goku here. With the speed up. Oh, he's taking no, no damage. What the hell? Why is he taking actually zero damage? They have, like, Rising Rush defense or something? Why that do no? Why that do nothing? <laughs> Look how much more we're doing with just normal attacks here. Okay, that's definitely interesting. Actually, I actually have no idea why that happened. Let's press the main. If you guys don't want to watch this, obviously feel free to just like forward this or speed it up or skip around, whatever you want to do. I don't, I don't care. Um, I just figured because this event is um, a permanent, number one, a permanent event, and it's so like as rewarding as it is, I feel like it was just worth, worth covering this. Okay, yeah, so, okay, we, we cleared this out. Did we actually not get the mission done? We meant we might not, I mean, it doesn't matter, really, if we got the mission done or not, but that's just annoying if we didn't, because I like to, I like to complete all the missions. And come back and do it a different time. Oh, we did, 100 counts, okay. So that's done. The Yardrat Goku set of stages is complete. Let's move on to Gohan's here. Gohan's, again, same thing. I sort of just gave him as much um, blast damage as possible. This should be pretty easy. This Gohan's still pretty solid, so. Uh, there is a bull. Oh, they really made the Cell Jr. blue. <laughs> Thank you. That's really great. Uh, well, at least Instant Transmission Goku is green, but uh, all right, let's see. I wonder if this will be easy um, because they're, yeah, this is, this is ridiculously easy. I think what they probably did here was they probably um, balanced the stage around this guy not being Zenkai, I guess? I don't know. I mean, it makes sense. It's probably more of a new player style event here anyway. Alright, full screen strike. 
All right. Do I even want to switch into IT Goku? This Gohan's doing a lot of damage by himself. I don't even think it's worth it. God, his key recovery is terrible. <laughs> it just shows how old he is. A lot of older characters tend to have... Let's just do this, whatever. A lot of older characters tend to have bad key recovery. Yeah, I feel like Gohan was doing more damage than this guy. Well, we can do some instant transmission stuff here. Faint him. Faint him! Oh, we actually, actually did faint him. Okay, well. Goodbye, Cell. Oh my god, incinerated. Let's do a uh, three times speed LF. Alright. That first stage is done. You know what I'll, I'll just you know what I'll do for the rest of this? I'll just put it into three times speed. I don't want this to go on forever. So I'll, I'll keep the speed. The problem with the three times speed though is the it's technically it's not just three times speed it's it's technically autoing so you have to like fight with the the bot for control over your units um oh this is just cell okay this should be easy let's just keep the three times speed on and see if we can do this uh we get blue vegeta for this all right all right let's see how tough this ends up being i mean three times speed this should be fine right we're not gonna lose i don't think 11,000 HP. Okay, this guy definitely has a lot more HP than the prior stages. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna charge here. I don't really care if this Vegeta dies, right? It doesn't matter. Let's just press this and then rush him. Really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's... Is he dead? Actually, he might not, we, might not, we might not die to this. Oh, he did. Okay. It's incinerated in two seconds. All right. Well, we got that one done. Now we're going to move on to the Power Awakened Piccolo stages. Let's go ahead and just accept this. Yeah, we got 400 Z power for Gohan there. That probably means that that's how they're, that's how they're separating it now. You get 200 Z power for the, the first stage and then 400 for the, the harder difficulty stage. All right. So for Piccolo, where is his team? Right here. It's the regen setup. Uh, this Piccolo can only get Zenkai buffed once, which is interesting. I don't. There's just there's there's no purple regen Zenkai buffers, which is very strange. But um, uh, put Broly here, gave him a bunch of um, like I think like like um, Buhan does give like percent damage to blast attack for regen, so we should be fine here. So 11 million HP, huh? The good thing about Piccolo is he does debuff the enemies. Whenever he hits them, that's good. All right, let's go ahead and just pop this. Hit him with this. Only four Dragon Balls so far. It's pretty, pretty low. All right, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and just finish this up here. Nice. They gave us Pan, which is pretty good. Pan is very, very strong. All right, so Gamma 1 taken out. Now we have to move on to the second difficulty stage here. There's 200 Z power of Pickle. I could actually use that. Very nice. And then let's go on to the next stage here. No, that's the wrong one. Su uh, Superhero EX Battle 1. All right. Oh, this is against Gamma 1 and 2. Okay, this actually... This might be where things start to ramp up in difficulty a little bit. I, I might... Uh, I might turn off the the three times speed here, but the the problem is once you once you start getting used to the three times speed, it gets really hard to not use it. <laughs> All right, he's going for that right away. Let's just do this. Oh, they have way less HP. That makes sense. Okay, I guess that makes up for them. There being two of them, right? Oh, that that did decent damage. Just let's just rush this guy. We have type advantage over Gamma One anyway. Yeah, the rush is not doing much. I feel like I feel like they probably implemented some kind of like rising rush damage reduction thing in this. Let's just do this, reduce sub count. Oh, you already vanished. Okay. Let's do this. Heal up with this. All right. Anytime you want to attack, there you go. Get our vanish back with this. Kill this guy with the ult. 
Things are looking pretty good here. Five million damage, huh? Alright, whatever. I'm, I'm done waiting around. Okay, the bot lost the uh, clash there. Does this kill him? Almost. I tried to go for a quick attack there, I just couldn't time it right. Alright, that's out of the way. Uh, 400 more Z power for Piccolo. Does this push him over to red one? It might actually. Let's see. 400 Z power. Yeah, this does push him into red one actually. That's pretty good. Nice. Definitely we'll take that. All right, let's move on to Beast Gohan. The next stage, the final two stages. So we're up against Gamma one again. Uh, there's the base. Go yeah, triple Zenkai buff. We have Trunks. We have Android 14 as well. This should be pretty easy. Uh, they give us Ultimate Piccolo, or Ultimate Piccolo, well, I mean, you could technically call him Ultimate Piccolo, the Power Awakened Piccolo, whatever you want to call him. Uh, but I don't really think, uh, <laughs> I don't really think Beast Gohan's going to be struggling with this guy. And my Beast Gohan's only three stars, so. Why don't we just go ahead and start with this, get our gauge exhausted, and we can start building it up again here. I mean, th this gauge is so stupid, especially for PvE, like, how do you lose? Look at this. <laughs> I just literally clicked every single card in my hand without doing anything and I won. Alright. So, this guy's dead. Let's move on to the final stage. Yeah, nice 10 million rush. Uh, I assume the final stage is going to be Gamma 1 and 2 again. Just same thing as it was for Piccolo. Alright, there's a limit break for Gohan. I guess this is, yeah, 4 stars. Alrighty, all the missions done. Let's go ahead and move on to the final stage, which is, yeah, against Gamma 1 and 2. Yeah, that seems pretty standard here. All right, let's, let's take this on here with Beast Gohan. Shouldn't have any problems again. Beast Gohan is uh, probably good enough to handle this by himself, but we do have Piccolo in case we need to switch. Uh, I'll just leave the three times speed on. It's whatever. Yeah, all right, PV'd. Let's go ahead and just use our thing here, get our Vanish back. Do this. Okay. Oh, it's oh the the bot switched to Piccolo. That's fine. He's dead. Okay. Let's grab our rush. Build up our gauge again. There's no reason not to ult, right? Alright, full hand of cards. Goodbye, Gamma 1, and... Should be game over. Unless he rushes me right. Can you imagine if he rushes? I mean, I guess it wouldn't matter because I get Endurance if he does it anyway. Alright, pretty simple. Pretty simple. I don't... I think I struggle with any of these stages at all. I mean, obviously, my teams are pretty insane, right? But even if you don't have access to, like, these Zenkai buffs or these benches for these characters, it shouldn't really be that bad just to clear these stages. So, I, I do think I would rate this event very good, right? They didn't have to release this. Clearly, this is more of a gift than an actual event. I mean, they're giving you Z-Power for the brand new LF character, as well as one of the banner units alongside them as well. I think this is a really good event. Um, you don't have to do this right now if you don't have the new units and when you pull them you can come back and do it and that's still free stuff for you so at the end of the day i think i do like this event let me know down below if you guys uh, have played through this already hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you all in the next one